if you have 10 weeks to solve a problem, you should spend eight weeks planning the experiment, one week running it, and one week analyzing the data. There was a company that I did some work with that made the combustion chambers for jet aircraft engines. And these are one-piece nickel-titanium castings, the diameter of an aircraft engine. I used to call it the nickel-titanium hot tub because that's about how big it is. And these guys were having uh, a terrible time because many of the castings that they produced had interior defects, and you can't put those in an engine. An exploding engine is a really bad thing. And so we set up a series of experiments that we wanted to run, and uh, we had to be really careful because every experiment cost a million dollars. We were able, in fact, to eliminate these, these defects in 100% in of the castings that we tested. If we can do it, you can do it. This specialization is all about the field of experimental design, and it's, it's a broad specialization in that it covers almost all of the major aspects of the field, as well as many of the advanced techniques that you need to be a successful practitioner of experimental design. I want people that go through this specialization to be capable practitioners and run good experiments, uh, scientifically valid experiments with a lot of confidence in, in what they're doing. I think this is geared toward really anyone in, in engineering or science that is involved in either product design and development or manufacturing process design or improvement because all of those are experimental activities. So there's enormous numbers of applications of this in, in, the, in the commercial world as well. Those people are running experiments. Every time I get a credit card offer or something like that in the mail, I always look at it and say, okay, what are the factors that they're changing in this experiment? The applications are endless. If you need to collect data to figure out the answer to your questions, and you're not using designed experiments to do this, you are leaving money on the table and possibly making stupid decisions. Simple as that.